Good morning, eighth grade. I am ready for math, and we're doing lesson 12. I see these numbers are just, just disappearing. Uh, I mean, you're at the end of the book, do you realize? I mean, 12, and you got 13, 14, 15, and test. Ooh, it's over, it's over. All right, uh, yeah, today it's talking about recording your expenses in a multi-column sheet. And what that is, is kind of a little bit, you should think along of a budget. And, and you, you can think of your check registry because you're writing checks and expenses and you're itemizing them as you write them down. Businesses use these a lot. And personal people do too. And what it does, it helps you uh, add up the totals at the end of the week or the end of the month or whenever, the end of the year. And it, it's got all the ones in of certain things in a certain category and are in a certain column. So if I can uh, look at the book here, uh, it just kind of gives you just a little experience if you ever uh, run a business or work for a business and you have to be secretary or you have to be a manager of the account. It, it, it gives you a little picture. I mean, businesses, you got about, well, you got column for April, you got one, cash, feed, vet, and taxes. You got about four columns. Well, there's businesses that's got dozens of columns that you have to enter in the correct one. So the first column you enter the amount, okay? That's the amount of the check, the amount that you pay, withdraw, whatever. No, with the amount of the expenses. So this is the amount. And then the second column, or, or I mean, then you take that same number and you put it in one of the other columns. Okay, you get this, you just re rewrite the number in its, in its category. So say for instance, the first one, we'll just look at the example on page 44. The top one, the feedlot, the amount for the kids was $568.26. You see, he just took that same amount and wrote it over under the cat. No, that was feed, sorry. <laughs> he wrote it under the feed column. Then the next one was for a vet bill, and you took, he took that same amount and wrote it over. So every time you'll write it in the first column, and then you'll just write that same figure in one of the other columns wherever it fits. Does that make sense? And he ends it at bi-weekly. Now if you go to on over to page 45, you have to, and I should, I don't have a book. I wish I could see your book. Is that copied, the first part? If it's not, you'll have to copy page 44 over on to page 45. And then he starts the second, it's bi-weekly, so it's for two weeks. So then he starts the second week. And, and it's important that when you do the second week, you have to look at numbers one, two, three, four. And, and you will record the, the check number and, and then you will record the date and you will record who it was written to and then you will record the amount. And then you will rewrite the amount in the correct category. And then, I, I wish I had a book. I, I don't even have one of your books. So I am going to assume that the top part of this here registry is filled out. I'm going to assume they copied it from page 44 over to 45, the top part. And then you just fill in the bottom part. When you get down to your bi-weekly totals, that means you just add up the bottom one, two, three, four, the four you wrote in. The bottom four you add up for that. And then when you get the monthly totals, you have to take that number plus back up here, this total over here on page 44, which should be written here on 45. You have to add those two by week weekly totals to get your monthly total. Is that confusing? I wish I could see your faces, see if you got question marks or if you understand. If you do have a question on it, call me and I will try to explain how to get the monthly total. That's your bottom one. But basically what you have two, two, two of them you got the month split in half. You got your first two weeks and your last two weeks. And your first two weeks are on the front part of the page as an example. And I'm assuming they're copied over here on the top. And then you wrote the last two weeks of his calf feed and, 
vet bills and whatever else you have. And you might not have anything in some of the blanks, like you know the taxes he had in the top two weeks, but he didn't pay taxes every two weeks, so he didn't he didn't have any taxes on the bottom. Uh, turning over to page 46, uh, you are going to do a few more checks in uh, Stephen and what's her name Rhoda Rhonda's account. Uh, you got some transactions, number six, seven, eight, and nine are transactions, and yes, and ten and eleven. So you got a pretty small lesson, but uh, I need to do some checking here. And on page fifty-five, you went to fifty-six, and I should have maybe showed you this yesterday. But on page fifty-five, down at the bottom, the last number, which was gas for lawnmower, tiller, and van at the fuel station, should have been your last number. That total of your checkbook registry should be $75.23. So when you went over onto page 56, you should have carried $75.23 and written it over there somewhere on the balance or somewhere. That's where your starting point. $75.23 needs to be your number. If it's not, you've made a mistake of adding and subtracting. And so you need to correct that. And I will give you some answers here for the other page. Uh, this maybe help you correct them. Uh, let me see here. Can you see that? It looks a little shady. Right here. I gave you down to there. Now you should be able to come on down through here. And see here you've got your $75.23, the bottom one. Okay. I will give you some answers for page 56 then later. Uh, what page? You, uh, what's lesson eleven look like? Do you need some answers from yesterday's lesson? Yeah, I bet you do. Got a couple checks you wrote. One was to the appliance doctor. Oh yes, you filled out your bank statement down at the bottom. That's what it should have looked like, or the numbers you should have put in. Your total was four hundred eighty dollars and seventy six cents that you deposited. And then, when we get to the next page, you wrote a couple checks. Should have been similar to this, or I mean identical to this. And one more. And there's number seven and eight's answer. If you can't read them, I'll let you know. I'll tell you number 7A is no. 7B is they need five dozen more. And number 8 is point zero eight seven five cents per ounce, it says. So that's not even, yeah, it's eight cents. It's zero, okay, you got a dollar sign, a zero dollars and then for cents you got point zero eight seven five you have a good day and I'll catch you tomorrow